Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Today I'm doing a variant of Project 6 from the Arduino Workshop book, uh, a hands-on introduction with 65 projects by John Boxell. I am uh, I am trying to uh, uh, brush up on my C, or my Arduino code. Uh, it's not exactly C as you all know, but... Uh, a uh, variant of C. In any case, it's been a long time since I've tinkered with it, so I'm, I'm brushing up on my code. I am a, an assembly code fiend. I work with PIX and ASM code typically. Anyway, getting back to it, uh, I'm going through these projects and I'm adding my own little spice to each of them. Uh, and uh, obviously experimenting with different variations of the software so that I can familiarize myself with the code and really understand how everything's working. Anyhow, the Project 6 is um, the job is to make a simple battery voltage detector. In any case, uh, if I've got no voltage connect, no battery connected to this circuit, I press the uh, button, it samples it, tells me I've got a bad battery. There's also a yellow ba uh, yellow LED and a green LED. Uh, green uh, tells me that I've got a voltage over 1.55 volts. Uh, yellow is between 1.4 and 1.55 volts. So the a good battery, green, uh, an okay battery in the in the okay range, yellow, and anything less than 1.4, I've got red. Now I can switch those values around relatively easily, but uh, I'm not going to. So what I've got right here is just a single AAA battery. I'm going to connect the negative probe from my Arduino and my positive probe to the battery. I'm going to press the button which means that I've got a voltage from between 1.4 and 1.55 volts on it. So now let me uh, measure the actual voltage on the battery. Okay, so positive to positive for my multimeter, negative to negative, and 1.487 volts DC. So it looks like it's working well enough. What if I hook this up to a, di uh, a, digital, uh, uh, sorry, a digital power supply? Pardon the horrible view, um, my Ethernet cable is not long enough. Uh, and my power supply is way over here, so I've got a digital power supply connected to the input lines. Uh, naturally, you wouldn't want long, thin input lines for your uh, ADC test, your analog to digital converter test. Testing this battery, you'd likely want shorter, thicker wires uh, because there are losses involved here, but hopefully it'll be a little bit forgiving considering that this is just uh, a software test right here. So I've got 0.6 volts of the input right now at the... Uh, at uh, at A input A0, so analog input A0, and I get less than 1.4 volts. So I'm going to bring it up to 1.3 volts, and we'll try it again. I still expect to see red. Yep. So now I'm going to bring it up to 1.5 volts. Nice. Now, unfortunately, the uh, resolution of my power supply is very very low so I can only go to 1.6 volts this will be right on the threshold I don't know how this is gonna go yeah so 1.6 volts that's uh, actually perfect so this is just simulating a battery and the Arduino is doing everything we've just got three LEDs and a push button uh, one pull up resistor on the uh, on the button pulling up to 5 volts uh, and I've actually got a pull down resistor between the A0 output and ground and that's to bleed off any uh, any power that's held on by line capacitance without that if I pull out that that uh, that uh, pull down resistor that 100k pull down resistor then what's going to happen is uh, there's going to be an undetermined uh, voltage on that line because of line capacitances and chip capacit and chip capacitances that what's going to happen is I'm going to press the button and it's going to have more than 1.6 volts on it and so I'm going to see a green LED so that pull down resistor it's helpful uh, in any case I'm going to put the uh, the code below and comment it. I comment the heck out of everything. Uh, and uh, if it's not there when you watch this video, it will be there shortly. The problem is, is uh, YouTube doesn't like it when you put brackets in uh, in the description. And so I'll just link it in the description to my website. Check us out at engineeringshot.com, electroniclessons.com, and paintballprops.com. Thanks for watching, guys.